Ladies and gentlemen, the adventure continues as we continue our story in Lego Harry Potter Year 5 through 7. We are continuing our daily upload for Lego Harry Potter. And it looks like our very favorite teacher, whose name I don't even know yet, <laughs> uh, is back at it again. Mrs. Uh, cat. Pink Cat. There you go. It would be funny if that was her name. That would be hilarious if I just like, randomly uh, predicted that. What the heck Ghost just happened? Did the door just appear out of nowhere? Unlocked. Uh oh. What is going on? We got a creepy Voldemort face in the bottom right corner. And of course, the adventure continues in the world of uh, Lego Harry Potter. I honestly did not know what was going to happen there, but we got to go to the Nice, and he rewards us with thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, studs as a reward. So that's pretty awesome. So, with that in mind, of course, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode. Uh, like I said, it's a very top of the video. But also, I want to thank you guys so very much for your support on this series so far. Of course, I'm very, very excited to add Lego Harry Potter years five through seven to the already pretty impressive list of games that we have played. As far as Lego games are concerned, like we've completed most Lego games at this point on the channel, so it's definitely quite exciting to just go on ahead and add the last few that we haven't. So that's definitely quite cool. But with that in mind, today's question of the day is a very simple one, and that is name your favorite Harry Potter movie or film. So am I supposed to try to find a camera for this guy, or can we just... Hmm. Yeah, okay, it looks like I am supposed to try to find a camera. Could it be somewhere in here? I don't know why, I could have sworn we were moving around, and I could have sworn I heard a camera. Oh, what is that? Okay. Does he really not see that thing? It's right there. I mean, to be fair, I didn't see it either, so... I guess that's a fair criticism? Or critique? Is he gonna help us with the giant green lock over there? Oh, okay. Thank you very much for spawning the key for us. I mean, there's a little root that he was holding over the hostage love good. for that key there. It's like, what you, what's up with that, dude? Oh, this is an area of Hogwarts that we have not explored yet in the years 5 to 7 game. I do remember exploring this area in the years 1 through 4, but not in this game, okay. So that up ahead is the hall, right? Okay, so we're probably supposed to act through the different torches here as well. Oh, maybe not. See, the torch challenge is not applicable to everything. There's a character token uh, hidden in the corner. This is Team Thomas. Okay. What are we supposed to do here? Is you're supposed to pull that lever. At this point, I'm always just checking to make sure that... Are we supposed to give him this sword there? I guess so. Okay. I mean, it's definitely nice to get a lot of studs. That's very cool. We're getting a bunch of stud rewards for all our work here. Where are we so going? That's sort of cool. But outside of that, we have not really gotten a whole lot of an explanation as to... Ah, like this a certain order time. Or anything like that, we're, that we're supposed to follow. You know? At least not at this point in time. I think we'll be able to get some more rewards from this thing. Wait, what? We didn't get any studs. Oh, there they are. Okay, I guess they just arrived sort of very late. At least we got some studs. I don't know if we can get a reward from this as well. It looks like, again, as you activate each one of the different banners, you get uh, rewards. Okay. I'm gonna be disassembled, and it looks like this is where we're supposed to go. We need to wear Weasley sticky trainers to walk up this wall. Got it. Which we obviously still do not have, so we're just gonna have to proceed onwards. Is this where that door appeared? It sure seems like it. There it is. Who's this guy with the shovel here? <laughs> Oh, never mind. That's not a washroom. This looks more like a living room. So where are we going? But it does have a secret in the floor again, which just seems to be like the most common thing in the Harry Potter universe. 
Where are we going? Basically, hidden trap doors. Okay, you gotta block that. Well played. Good on you, Harry Potter. Oh, we're going okay, back to the London. Weasley brothers. And it looks as though we're supposed to... Okay, opponents can only be defeated by using the... Colored spell. Uh, that's a decoy. Okay, that's not gonna work. How do I get to To land that shot. So, okay, we have to use whatever spell, whatever color the spell is. That makes sense now. Okay, so you're able to practice your different spell casting. That's a cool mechanic. Ow. Please win this. Well done. Okay. There we go. Uh, be so we were victorious once more, and dueling has been unlocked. Cool. We earn a gold brick reward for all that work that we had done uh, in that little fight. And suddenly it's Christmas time. Is that Christmas tree there? Because I swear I didn't see it there before. So Jeannie still has a crush on Harry Potter. And it looks like uh, Luna and Harry are an idol. Picturing Ron being the one that's like throwing the flowers down from above them. Okay, so now we definitely know that uh, Harry Potter and Luna, uh, Love Good, are together. Are we? Okay, we're supposed to go this way, right? Looks like it at least. Unless if it's leading us back to that same room, but I don't think it is. We're supposed to go back. Okay, we're going back through this time we're going back to the main hall, I guess, uh, that we were in before, possibly at least, we'll see. We're going to follow Gentleman Ghost here, which is actually a DC supervillain, and I think it's interesting how the staircase room here is quite a bit different than what it used to be. Because it used to be like a multitude of platforms and you'd like wait for it to move around so that you could uh, scale different areas. So that was definitely kind of interesting. Okay, so we're supposed to go back here, which I think takes us back to the main um, Gryffindor uh, dorm room, I guess. Or dormitory, however you want to describe it. Looks it's like not Harry working! Potter's still struggling with some nightmares. Uh oh. Uh, Harry, you gotta wake up, dude! Whoa. Huh? Maybe this is not even a dream or nightmare. Maybe it's like a pr uh, premonition? Or maybe he's seen something, like we're one of. The Weasley's was attacked. Yep. Uh oh. It's Professor Snape's. What the heck was that? That's. So cool, like the way he cast that spell. Okay. Ow! Ow! 
as a brand new character that we unlocked. But that was really cool. So Stop they it. have gone back in time to uh, into Harry Potter's mind and into that particular memory of the very first level that we played. Through. That is so cool. What a cool concept for uh, like a time traveling element, and probably, hopefully, will obviously learn something new, pick up on some new details and such. So that'll be kind of neat. And of course, in the process, if we can, it'd be nice to get uh, a whole lot more studs so that we could um, know that we've completed all of the requirements. Do you think that Professor Snape will jump onto this thing with us? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you imagine Snape right now? He's like, I can't believe I'm doing this. He would be furious. This is ridiculous. This is not what we've come here for. Okay. So. Again, not sure if we're supposed to do that. Okay, I don't know what that means. Does that mean we're supposed to create a cloud or something like that? To switch to Snape. Okay. Oh, okay. So he didn't want a cloud. He wants a cake. And it's up to us to bake said cake. Looks like uh, Professor Snake, for whatever reason, is not able to assemble bricks, which were, yeah, I guess bricks, which is a little odd because you'd think that the professor would have every spell ability after all. He's a professor, you know. Why are we not able to? Okay, that's frustrating. How do we dig? Circle. So same way as the um, pet characters. Okay, this is going to be a really disgusting cake if the ingredients are going to be brought up from different bits of sand. You know? Dude, that just sounds gross. Okay. So, now this looks like a big giant box was hidden over here. Possibly at least. Definitely looks like some sort of a square block that's been placed below the ground. Okay. Oh, cool. We got the Slytherin emblem. It's pretty neat. Okay, so that. Whoa, what the heck? I didn't know you could have done that. Cool. So then we go over here, and I guess we're supposed to dig in this one last location and it sure looks like this is the spot where we will be finding the cake that is supposed to be delivered to um i think that's dudley there right do i put it here oh no okay. for some reason i thought it would go on to this this then oh that, that was an area we thought about before right i think Hmm. So you gonna open that for us? Whoa. Okay, that's weird. That was a very strange time skip. I thought we would keep going through that level until the moment where Harry Potter used this magic in uh, public. But I guess clearly that's not the case. There's that I guess not. There's like a little winding up thing over here. Oh wow, okay. That gives us actually a pretty good batch of studs. Can't do anything about these silver Lego objects, but Did Sam's eat that cake? Activate this mission. Okay, so we need to bring her is that a crystal ball or what is that? Like you see how it's like a gold crystal ball or something like that. Okay, so can't destroy silver Lego objects. Can't really do much of anything. I mean, it sort of looks like this thing right here on this. It's shaped exactly like this item here. Just a matter of trying to figure out. Ah, I see. We need to clear this out. And there's the item we're looking for. Brilliant. Okay, 
So we grab that and return that. So then, that was just terrifying because the music was building up as though like, there was going to be like a giant creature that was about to attack us, and then nothing of the sort happened. So, <laughs> oh, okay. Dean Thomas. And I guess we're supposed to step in there. Have you ever wished you? It looks like with each blink, Harry Potter has um, a different memory that gets brought up. Which is definitely like a really cool concept. Uh, let's just defeat these guys. I think we need to um, worry about that. Okay, and then it looks like the focus spell that Professor Snape. Okay. Professor Snape knows a focus spell that seems to allow us to actually focus on these different characters and kind of like, I guess maybe he like reads their minds, right? Is that what it is? And knows what Spins exactly they pearl. need or want for the completion of a challenge. So it looks like she needs the wand. There we go. It's another task completed, correct? Okay, brilliant. We're gonna have another one of those like blinking sequences. Yep. So he blinks his way over to here, finally. Okay, this is where Harry Potter's nightmare was happening, remember? So this will be it. What for sure. Can we? There has to be a way to get those blue studs. Basically, what you do is you cast a spell. Whoops. You cast a spell. You cast a spell. And then you jump onto the um, platform to allow your character to get up. Huh! Okay, seems so like a giant catcher trying to catch something. A paper plane! Actually, maybe even several paper planes. Isn't it odd that the first level that we played through, or maybe part number two, sorry, we actually crafted a paper plane, so that's interesting. Some throwbacks possibly here? I guess we'll find out eventually. For now, just keep collecting these different rewards as we make our way through. Doesn't seem like there's anything else missing on the sides here. Water bounces up, earns a bunch of more rewards, and I'm guessing that this paper plane needs to be brought to whomever this character is. We also got our true wizard rank, so that's definitely quite cool. So we use the focus spell and then retrieve the paper plane for this fella. Okay. Another blank, and... Okay, what are we doing at King's Cross now? Hmm. I'm just confused. Are we traveling through Harry Potter's memories? As in, like, we've traveled back in time? Or... Are we actually traveling in these areas? Just using... Sort of like a mechanic of, like, where have you been before, I guess? Okay. Let's see. Interesting. Seems like there's a lot of wizards gathered over here. <gasps> That's Voldemort! The unmentionable one! And it seems like he's seeking some sort of a blue orb. What? That helps us. If we can get that blue orb, now we know, like, what Voldemort is after. How's that a bad thing? That seems quite helpful. Attempt to resist the trophy card. Level completed. Of course, replay has been unlocked. We did a lot of work on this level, actually. We got a house crest. We got a uh, character unlocked. Dudley's gang member. And in addition to that, of course, we did go on ahead and get our true wizard rank, which was awesome. So that was definitely quite sweet. We increased our sub count by yes. 38,000 points. So that's terrific. The and of course, we will be earning an extra gold brick for 
the true wizard brick. <clears throat> Speaking of gold bricks, we earn one gold brick for the uh, level completion and another gold brick for the true wizard rank. With that in mind, ladies and gents, that wraps up today's episode of Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you here as we continue our story in the next episode. Oh. <laughs>